So it uh, feels that uh, Adidas is bringing uh, more and more uh, running shoes every month. But in today's video guys uh, we're gonna have a look at a pair of shoes which uh, the actual range is available uh, long before the actual boost uh, came along. Hello guys and welcome back for a brand new review. If you are new to the channel please make sure you are going to subscribe. You can also give me a follow on Instagram to see exactly what I am going to review in the next few days. In today's video guys we are going to have a look at a pair of shoes from Adidas which is going to be a running one. So let's go ahead and take them out of the box which will come in this uh, grey uh, box which as usual will let us know that this one will have some recycled content. So let's go ahead and take them out guys. So in today's video we're gonna have a look at this uh, Climacool Boost. It really feels that Adidas is uh, pushing a lot of uh, running shoes uh, with this uh, boost technology. But uh, in case you don't already know guys, this uh, Climacool range was available uh, around 15 to 20 years ago if I'm not mistaken. And during the last uh, year or so I actually made a lot of reviews of this uh, Climacool range, either if it was the Climacool DNA or Climacool Vento, most definitely I actually had it and reviewed it. But in today's video we're gonna have a look at a new one which is called the Climacool Boost which was released here in the UK somewhere around the half of August and the retail price is £130 and this one will come in two color combinations so uh, let's go ahead and uh, do a breakdown of this one guys so as you can see for the upper we're gonna have a plasticky mesh material which will cover uh, like three quarters of the shoe and on this plastic mesh material guys we're gonna have a lot of add-ons uh, one of it will be this uh, rubberized material which uh, most definitely I feel that uh, it's gonna keep this uh, structure up but as you can see here covering the front part of the tobo section we're gonna have also some felt material with some uh, perforation holes which underneath uh, will uh, have this uh, white material but the actual uh, top part of the tobo section guys uh, will reveal that underneath this plastic mesh material it will uh, have another mesh material with bigger holes so most definitely this one is gonna be a very breathable shoe as in for the actual lacing system guys you can see that we're gonna have some uh, green uh, loops we're also gonna have this uh, plasticky punch out holes which will also keep in place this uh, black uh, flat laces and underneath these laces guys uh, we're gonna have this uh, very well padded uh, tongue in this uh, white material which will also have this uh, honeycomb uh, design and this one will also have this uh, Climacool uh, bubble here at the top in this purple color which will also have uh, Climacool written inside of it so this one to be honest uh, we had it present on all of the Climacool range uh, since it actually came on the market but as we continue now in the midfoot guys uh, we're gonna have the very well known uh, three stripes which will be in this uh, white to black color so this one has a faded design which looks quite nice and as we go uh, towards the back part of the shoe guys you can see that uh, covering this uh, heel section we're gonna have this uh, heel counter support which has a lot of uh, perforation holes just above the heel section we're gonna have this very large uh, bubble with this uh, adidas logo in this uh, 3d design but as we go now inside guys you can see that we're gonna have a very interesting lining in this uh, white color which underneath actually has a very good amount of padding so most definitely i felt that this one is keeping my foot quite good in place 
And guys, uh, at the bottom we're gonna have this uh, foam insole which has a heat ready imprinted here at the heat section. But as you can see, this one will also have a lot of perforation holes, which are actually placed uh, strategic. These ones uh, will actually uh, let the air uh, through uh, these uh, uh, tunnels, which will be available here in the midsole. But we'll get to that in a minute. So now guys uh, we can go to this uh, boost midsole which as you can see has a very interesting design. So this one will be actually the same as the Climacool Vento one. But this one will have this uh, tunnel here uh, in the midfoot in this uh, purple color. Which will actually have a lot of uh, perforation holes uh, which will let the air uh, through the actual uh, foam insole which has uh, perforation holes in it. But rather than this uh, tunnel here in the midfoot guys the actual uh, boost midsole will have the same design as the Climacool Vento. Which in my opinion it's very aggressive. And now guys uh, we can finish with this uh, rubber outsole which again will be the same as the Climacool cool vento so this one uh, actually has a lot of uh, wind tunnels uh, everywhere which will allow the air to uh, pass uh, through one thing that i will need to add guys it's that this uh, rubber outsole uh, feels that uh, it's gonna add uh, some weight to the overall shoe i really feel that this one it's actually a bit uh, heavier than the clima cool vento as in for the actual sizing guys uh, for this one i went with my true to size and uh, for me as i have a skinny fit this one uh, fits me just fine and i guess it will be roughly the same for people with normal feet but uh, just in case you have wider feet guys i will most definitely suggest you to go with a half size up and that will be mainly because this shoe it's not a wide shoe overall so this one it's actually quite uh, narrow so for sure you will need to go with at least a half size up so overall guys uh, this uh, new release uh, for the adidas uh, clima cool uh, boost in my opinion it looks uh, very interesting and i feel that uh, this one has a futuristic uh, design and i most definitely felt that uh, air is uh, coming a lot uh, through this uh, whole uh, ventilation holes as in for the actual uh, level of comfort guys this one it's a very comfortable one and of course uh, that will be mainly because we're gonna have this boost midsole but the only thing that uh, I actually don't uh, like is that this one feels uh, slightly a bit uh, too heavy. But rather than that guys, I really feel that this one uh, it's a very good option uh, to the other uh, shoes which they are available on the market. So uh, yeah guys, uh, this was my unboxing and reviewing of this uh, Adidas uh, Climacool Boost. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did uh, don't forget to press the like button maybe also subscribe to the channel you can also give me a follow on instagram to see exactly what i'm gonna review in the next few days and as always i will see you in my next one thanks for watching